All right. Hello, hello. So we wanted to come in here and just give you guys a little bit of information on what we do as beach body coaches, lifestyle coaches, home fitness coaches, whatever you want to call it. There are so many different names that we use um, for our job title, I guess you can call it. So my name is Deidre Mangus. And I'm Sharon Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to pre be presenting to you guys today. So um, this is informal. Uh, you're, you see my husband walking up the stairs right now. We're good. My kids are not home, so you're not going to hear screaming, but you probably will hear dogs barking. Shay, do you have your little one at home? I was going to say, my little girl is home, so you might see her come in, but we'll see. <laughs> so this is what we do, and, and we like I don't like to have these interruptions, but sometimes it is nice to have these interruptions because then you can see like, this is what we really do. And when we're on calls and we do stuff like this, you know, our kids are everywhere and this is our family and this is our life and it's okay. But we want you to know that like you can still make it work with being at home surrounded by a bunch of craziness because that is kind of what happens. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you guys. And we have a little PowerPoint to show you. And I'm hoping this is going to work. I'm going to try to put this in presentation mode. Shay, do you see this? Yes. Perfect. All right. So this is us. <laughs> and I am going to hopefully, there we go. I'm going to give you a little background of myself first before I even start here um, on this slide. But so my name is Deidre Mangus and I am the creator of Team Forever Fit. I started this business. You hear my dogs already. I started this business six and a half years ago. No, I started my fitness journey six and a half years ago, not even my business. Um, six and a half years ago, I started my fitness journey after I had my second boy. And I, I was the type of person who tried every diet, really, really struggled with nutrition in my past. Um, I guess you can call it binge and emotional eating, but I was never diagnosed. That's kind of self-diagnosed here. Um, but I started my fitness journey after having, I was exactly six weeks postpartum after my second boy. And it was August 6th. I remember the date and I just, I knew that I needed to do something different because I gained 60 pounds with both of my kids and I needed to do something because I hated the way I felt. I was not confident and I know it was post baby, but you know, that mom body that you get and you just don't feel right. You have to try on like a ton of different outfits before you can even feel kind of comfortable in the one that you're going out in. And I was just really unhappy and just not comfortable with who I was inside and out. So I wanted to start a journey that was a lifestyle. And that's what I did. Um, I've tried wraps and diet pills and every uh, fat, lot, fat burning pills, I can't talk, like everything under the sun, starving myself um, and nothing worked. So this whole beach body thing, um, was delivered to me by my cousin who is the number one coach in the company for four years now. And she reached out to me and she's like, Hey, do you want to do this? You know, she had her own results after having her baby. That's when she started. And I was like, no, I don't think so. So she continued to talk to me and I, I did end up joining her and I got into our challenge group and I ended up losing a total of 40 pounds and it was the best that I've ever felt. I actually was comfortable in my skin and it was just a really good time to actually have the fitness, the nutrition and that support. That support group was like huge for me because as I've said, I was an emotional and binge eater and I really struggled at times. So like I had that support group to go into to help me when I needed it. Um, so I lost 40 pounds, but I actually started coaching when I was halfway to my goal. When I was at my, I think it was 24 pound weight loss is when I started. I still had a ways to go because mind you, it was post baby. So I wasn't even close to my pre-pregnancy weight. Um, but I just love the way I feel and I was sharing what I was doing. And that is what got me started with coaching. Um, so I am a mom of three boys now. I actually had a baby one year ago yesterday. <laughs> and um, we are a blended family of six kids total. So we have five boys and one girl. And my I'm a military wife. And um, I am a retired 
kind of retire to ER nurse. I quit nursing. My husband's like, don't say he retired. You don't have a pension from it. <laughs> so I am a former ER nurse. Um, I was working as a nurse for my first two years of coaching and my business was growing. Our team was growing to the point where I had to make a decision whether to not invest any more time into Beachbody and my team or to give up nursing and be at home with your kids like you wanted to be. So, you know, I made that decision to be home with my kids after two years of putting in time with Beachbody and time with um, in nursing. And I was also going to school full time to get my master's for, to be a school nurse, a certified school nurse, because I wanted a better schedule. But here, this whole beach body opportunity with coaching came about and I took the leap and I decided to let go of my nursing career. And now this is our whole, our income for our entire family with six kids and my husband is in the military, but he just has his drill weekends right now because he is going to school full time to be a chaplain. So we are, this is our income and also to get him through school. And it's just a, it's a blessing. I don't want to say that to boast or anything, but I want to show you guys the opportunity when you're in the business for a while and what it can do for you rather than, you know, my career with nursing would have never been able to provide what it has for us. So it's just a huge blessing that it has done for me. Now I'm going to stop talking about myself and I want to talk about what is Beachbody. <laughs> um, so what is Beachbody? You, you see a timeline right here. And this just shows you that so many things have transpired since we started this. I didn't start this company. Two other guys started this company. But since they started this company, so many things have come about. So um, in 1998 is when Beachbody first came about by two guys named Carl Deichler and John Congdon. And their sole purpose for starting this company was to help people achieve um, their fitness goals and live healthy and fulfilling lives. And they found that having these trainers that were experienced and knew what the heck they were doing with making these home fitness programs, they, they found these trainers, they made these programs, by DVDs where people can actually work out at home and not have to go to the gym. And it actually started giving people really great results, like better results than people get at the gym, but they were also getting more than just that fitness aspect. Um, so the cool thing is they were able to do it at home and they got these workout programs on DVD. You put them in the TV, you do the workout. There's a trainer telling you exactly what you do. It comes with a nutrition plan, every program, and they follow the nutrition plan and they get the results. Um, if you can look at this timeline, I know it's really small, but some of these programs include P90X, Turbo Fire, Turbo Jam, Body Beast, um, T25 by Sean T. Um, Autumn Calibri started with the 21 Day Fix and the portion control containers to help you with your nutrition. Those are just to name a few. There are a ton there. Um, so Beachbody has been really, really successful and I don't think people realize how long we've been around. I know people look and they're like, oh, it's an MLM, it's a network marketing company. We are so different than most MLM companies, multi-level marketing because of what we actually have to offer. Um, so, sorry, I like the lighting in the background there. It helps a little bit. Me and my lighting, Shay. <laughs> um, so Beachbody has been really, really successful. And, and coaching wasn't even about when some of these programs started. Beachbody, Simply Carl and John, they created these programs just so people can get healthy and get results. So coaching came about in 2007, when they decided that people were getting such great results and sharing organically what kind of results they were getting, that they're like, these clients that are sharing their results should be benefiting from this. So they decided in 2007 to make up the coaching opportunity. And it has been such a success and a huge opportunity for people like us who are you know, now stay-at-home moms and who are providing for their family and who still want to live that healthy lifestyle, but doing it at home with their kids, you know, running around like crazy, like mine mostly do. Um, and Chase probably too. Um, so this is, this is why Beachbody is so unique compared to other network marketing companies. Um, for me, I'm passionate about it because it is a lifestyle. And I think that's how she, I'm pretty confident that's how she feels as well. A lot of people are like, well, it's a diet because you're temporarily doing reps, you're temporarily doing pills or, you know, different 
different drinks that temporarily you have to cut and deplete yourself from other things. Please don't think I'm talking any other mar network marketing company down. Everyone has their own thing. There's different things that work for different people. For us and for me, I just love that this is something I can do for the rest of my life. Um, and it is not a temporary thing for me. So we have everything that you need to reach your health and fitness goals. You have the fitness with the home workout programs. We have the nutrition with the meal plans and with our top products like Shakeology, which is something that I have been using. Well, we've both been using for quite a long time. Um, for me, it has been six and a half years since I've been using it. And I only started using it because my mom was using it and had so many great things to say. And it helped my mom. Um, who was also under my cousin as a coach as she was starting her fitness journey. Um, so Shakeology is a superfood shake. It is full of dense nutrition that gives you everything that you need that your body does not normally get with the typical everyday foods that you eat. Um, a lot of the foods that we get here, they're processed, they're treated with chemicals, and um, even if there's like vegetables and different produce, that's grown here in the US, our soil is not what it was years ago. So Shakeology, the, the ingredients were handpicked from all over different countries where the soil is best for the crops to grow. So it is going to give you natural energy. It's gonna help take away your cravings. It's gonna fuel your body the right way. So incorporating Shakeology is something that we all do as coaches because it makes us feel good. We have experience with it. We love the way it makes us feel and we know that it works. We know that it helps people get results. Most people struggle with their nutrition and this is one meal that you know you are getting the best nutrition that you need to get to help you get those results. Um, so we are very confident in that and we share it like crazy because we know that it works. The other um, supplements is like the performance line where you get your pre-workout drink that you may drink all throughout the day if you're like me. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really good. It's a pre-workout drink that's full of net. It's natural compared to going to a different store. And, you know, for me, I used to get certain pre-workouts from another store. I'm not going to talk about what it exactly is, but it made me feel tingly. It didn't make me feel great. My fingertips were numb and I, my lips were numb and I'm like trying to talk. And I'm like, mm -hmm. you know how you feel like whenever you take too much of something and I think it's the niacin in it. It just doesn't make you feel very good. Then you feel like your heart rate's going really, really fast. Um, but this doesn't do that to me. And I love it. And I can drink it two, three times throughout the day, even though you're only supposed to be drinking it 15 to 30 minutes before your meal. <laughs> but I love it. I don't drink coffee. So it's kind of like my coffee replacement. And, um, and I also did drink it all throughout um, me being pregnant and I am still breastfeeding a year later and my baby loves my Energize. <laughs> so, and then part of the performance is also the post recovery shake protein, um, with recover it's called, and it's just a great post workout to help with muscle soreness and recovery. It works really well. There's been a huge significant difference from taking a regular protein shake than taking this recover um, after your workout with knowing the difference between how much sore you are compared to how much it helps after you do take it. Um, so those are Shakeology and the performance line are two huge products that we all incorporate to help us with our results. So there's the nutrition part and then the peer support you're getting our challenge groups, which Shay is going to be talking about that, but our challenge groups and support groups or boot camps, whatever you want to call it, because we have different names for it, but it's just a group of people who want to reach goals and they need support, help, accountability. We give tips and recipes and help with meal planning. And we, it's just a great environment, a positive environment. People cheer each other on and make friends because a lot of people come into these groups and no one knows each other, but we're from all over the US and Canada and UK. And it's just a great environment for you to get the help and support that you need in the group. A lot of people lack the support part when they're on their fitness journey. They can go to the gym and do their workout. They could have a personal trainer one or two or three times a week. Um, but this is an everyday thing where you check in the group and there's someone posting at some point in time where if you're like, well, I don't feel like working out. You go into that group and you're like, okay, that person motivated me. They just posted their workout picture. I'm going to go and do it. 
or if you're feeling like you're going to have a cheat and you're not supposed to be cheating, you go into there and someone, there's some kind of healthy recipe that can help you make something healthier than what you were going to have. And it's like a replacement. So you're going to get so much feedback and, and tips and, and support from that. And then the rewards. I don't know if a lot of people are familiar with this, but when you're on your journey with Beachbody and you do the workout programs, you can actually turn in your transformation. Even if you've lost five pounds, 10 pounds, 40 pounds, 100 pounds, you have the opportunity to be a Beachbody Challenge winner. And they have $500 Beachbody Challenge winners, and they do that daily. And then they have winners, oh, I don't know the exact amount, $1,000 winners, 5000 10,000. And then they have yearly winners. That is a hundred thousand dollars. And I will tell you, I am someone who I'm like, I don't win anything. I don't know people who win a lot at, you know, this business, this company is so huge. You're not going to know anyone who wins, but I will tell you, I was a $500 beach body challenge winner when just for using Shakeology when I lost my 40 pounds, um, we have a few coaches on our team that have been beach body challenge winners, the $500. My co my coach that joined up with me, she was a $5,000 beach body challenge winner. And then one of my other coaches, her husband lost over a hundred pounds and was a, he was a finalist for the $100,000 winner. He got up on stage at summit, which is our biggest training. And he ended up not being the winner, but he did want, he won $25,000. And then because his coach is his wife, she won 5,000, I think it was. So holy crap, what you can win and get for being healthy on this journey. All right. I think I'm done with that part. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking a lot here. Let me see if I can change this. Okay. So I'm going to talk real quick about who could be a Beachbody coach. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what you don't have to be, what you don't have to be, to be a coach. And that is a fitness or nutrition expert. A lot of people think I have to have this education and background. No, you don't. You get the training with us as you go. You don't have to already be at your goals. Like I said, I was only 20 pounds down from my 40 pound goal and I still was able to be successful. And then you don't have to be an experienced salesperson. I have no experience with sales, nor do I want to be not against anyone who's in sales, but it's just not, I'm a nurse. <laughs> I don't sell things. Um, basically your sales are done by the thousands of dollars that Beachbody does to promote on TV, on the radio, in the elevator, you're going to hear about us. Um, there are billboards everywhere about us. That's when the sales are done. You are not selling, you are sharing what you are doing. What a coach should be is you should be sharing how you can change people's lives and help them achieve their, achieve their goals. Um, you should be proof that products work by also doing the workout programs and drinking Shakeology in the performance line, like I've already said, and you should be improving and developing yourself. I, I will say like, I had a lot of negativity in me when I first started, before I started, I worked in healthcare, a lot of unhappy people in healthcare, they're overworked and underpaid. And it's hard to be happy when you're surrounded by people who are, you know, needing to be treated in the ER and they're mad. So they take it out on you. And like, it just becomes a negative environment. And I needed something to help me become a positive person. And one of our vital behaviors with Beachbody that we do on a daily basis is personal development. So 15 minutes of listening to something or reading something that is motivating and inspiring will significantly change your attitude and mindset. And that's what I love about this business and this company and about um, with what they, what they make us do. They don't make us, but what they challenge you to do because it will help you be a better person, not just as a coach, but as a wife, a mother, you know, a friend, um, so that is what we do now. I think Shay is going to introduce herself and then talk a little bit about running effective challenge groups. Yes. So I'm Sharon Rogers, but most people call me Shay. Um, and I have been using Beachbody for, um, it's, it was about 2013. And, um, how I came across that was literally, I was living over in Asia at the time, had never even heard of beach bite, nothing. And I got on Google and I said, home fitness programs, 
that can be done with minimal equipment. Like, because I had just this teeny little apartment, no equipment, and I was like 50 pounds heavier than I am right now. So I was desperate. And so guess what popped up to the top? Insanity, Sean T, who I didn't even know who these people were. Anyway, so I just like started Googling, like researching and started seeing results of these people who had done this insanity program. And so I thought, well, heck, why not? So I got the program and they didn't even, I couldn't even get it shipped there because of where I was living. So my sister was coming to visit. So she brought the program over to me and I started this thing in my little tiny apartment, no equipment and just a ton of motivation and um, inspiration from the trainer. Well, I did the program and it ended up being, it was uh, an eight week program and oh well let me back up a little bit when i was on google googling about this insanity i saw this thing and it was about you can join a challenge group and i again didn't know what that was but i went on facebook i found a beach body challenge group and i asked to join i didn't know any of the people i just i knew i needed accountability so i joined the group and so every day we were doing those check-ins like Deidre was mentioning and just it just got me just like so on fire and i started seeing results after the um, insanity program, I had lost 20 pounds and I was just like, oh my gosh, like I didn't even use weights or nothing. Like this was awesome. And it was perfect for where I was at. So then, but I, oh, at this point though, I had not used Shakeology because I couldn't get it over there. And so, and I was just kind of like, I think I can skip that part, but I'll get to that in a minute because I can't. So anyways, but I thought I could. And so then when I came back home by then, um, there was some newer programs out. So I started with T25 and it just kind of the ball kept rolling and I just kept getting results. And then uh, four years ago now, I got married and pretty quickly um, be we became pregnant with our little daughter who is now three. She just turned three last week. But I, at this point, I'm still just doing these, these programs and uh, in, in a challenge group. But I had actually, I was, I'll talk about it later when we get to the, um, like who you're attracting, but my challenge group, no offense to my challenge group, but it was all older gentlemen. I, that's just the one I had stumbled upon. And that's what I, that's what I asked to join. So I was like, you know, I was online again one day and I came across Deidre's blog. And so I was like, man, she looks kind of cool. And she's got kids and she was on her, you know, postpartum journey at that time. And so I friended her on Facebook and got into her challenge group. So that's how Deidre and I met. I don't even know if she realizes that I found you on Google, but anyways, I was like, I, I mean, the old men were great and they were super motivated, <laughs> but they just weren't me. You know, I was not a 60 year old gentleman doing beach bike. I mean, there's a couple girls in there, but mainly mainly guys. So anyways, so that's how I came across Deidre's group. And then but I became pregnant and I love, I do love salads. Like, you know, they say, oh, salads are part of, you know, on a diet. No, I really truly enjoy salads. I became pregnant and I could not stand salads, like period. Like the whole pregnancy, I couldn't, I did not eat a single green vegetable. I could not stomach it. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna give this Shakeology stuff a try because they said it has all the, you know, the vitamins and the nutrients and the vegetables and stuff that your body needs. And so I thought, well, you know, I was concerned for my baby. And so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get over the price and just try it. And it turned out it worked awesome. I drank it my whole pregnancy. My OB told me, she like read the label and she was like, go for it, girl. She's like, don't even, you don't even have to. And this is my OB, so check with yours. But she said, you don't even have to take a prenatal vitamin. Like you drink this stuff every day and you're going to be good. So I was like, that's all I needed. And so I started drinking it. But I found as I started drinking it, how it did start making it. So I wasn't craving the ice cream, which I'm an ice creamaholic and like all those sugar stuff, you know? And so I was able to have a healthy pregnancy after um, our daughter was born three years ago. I used the beach body programs again and lost that weight and continue to lose weight. And so now from when I started insanity five years ago till now, it's been 50 pounds difference. And in there was a pregnancy and it was just like, oh my goodness, this completely works. So then in January of this year, um, Autumn Calabrese and Beachbody came out with the program 80 Day Obsession. And so I decided, you know what, I'm going to commit, I'm going to do this. I had never committed to like even like a food, um, a meal plan for longer than 21 days. So I was like, oh my gosh, 80 days straight, like this is going to be a commitment. But I decided I was going to go all in, I was going to do it 100%. And so I did, and I got like fabulous, like the best results I had ever had my whole fitness journey. And so I was floored. And through this whole time, Deidre kept messaging me because I was in her challenge group and checking in every single day. And she was like, girl, you really need to do like be a coach. 
And I was like, no, no, no. And like, ask her. I, I just kept saying no the whole time. <laughs> Anyways. For a long time. <laughs> for, for a long time. And, but you know what the fear was? And um, I'll get to that later. But it was really, I feared I couldn't be a salesperson. And, you know, like how DJ just said, you're not selling it. But I was just like, I'm not a salesperson. I can't sell beach body and you know, whatever. And yet I love the programs and I love Shakeology. Like it's my life. And you ask anybody who knows me and they know I use beach body. Like that's just me. That's who I've been. So anyways, um, I said, no, finished the program in April, kept saying no. And then all of a sudden it was the end of June. And I was just like, finally, one day it kind of just hit me all that Deidre had been talking to me about. And like, like I was already sharing my journey. Everybody knew I used Beachbody. Everybody knew I drank Shakeology and yet I wasn't getting any money for this. Like I was blasting it from the rooftops anyways on my social media and stuff, but just for the, for the heck of it, like it wasn't, it wasn't actually benefiting me at all. And so then finally, I think I kind of shocked Deidre, but I just messaged her and I was like, I think I'm ready. Like I'll be a coach, you know? And that was in, I signed up in July. So I've been a coach since July and Honestly, what has changed since from July, from, you know, June till into July and now into November or December, nothing really, because I was already using the products. I was already using the programs and now I'm just being more open with my story. Like I'm making sure I'm sharing my story instead of just letting people assume, but I'm just, I'm, I'm me. I'm, I haven't changed now than what I was earlier. And so it's been a pretty cool journey, but that's a little bit about me. Um, but running effective challenge groups, this is what made me become a coach was the challenge groups. Um, because really like why run a challenge group? You know, they're, they are um, the bread and butter of your whole business. Um, because do you do like, do I, as a coach have to run a challenge group? No, but to be successful, I do run challenge groups and Deidre runs challenge groups and most all the successful coaches run challenge groups because we're going to take just a couple looks. I just wrote down as last night when I was thinking about it, like why, what makes a challenge group a challenge group and what makes it successful. But um, when you first become, you know, involved in fitness or in anything, take anything, but you know, we're just talking about fitness. You tell your friends, your close friends, then you tell your family. And it, it, you know, it just stays in that circle. But as if you were to do like the challenge groups, um, it starts to, your, your network starts to spread because your friends tell their friends and your family tells extended family. And it just starts to bring everybody together. And so it just, it expands your business and they keep, um, they keep your customers active or even your discount coaches. Because the fact of the matter is, is if I had just gone and gotten insanity of those years ago and over and did my own little thing and didn't have a challenge group, why would I necessarily have wanted to continue? Like what would have held me with Beachbody? Because as Deidre said, there's so many other things out there and some of them are probably good, you know, but what, what makes us unique is that accountability, is that challenge group. And that's where your bread and butter is like, that's where it's at. Um, and so they're either using the Shakeology or the performance line or the latest programs that are coming out. There was just another program launched yesterday. Like it just keeps everybody informed. It keeps everybody involved and it keeps them all excited. So anyways, you can flip that screen, Deidre. Um, but it gives, it also helps your clients have that clear, concise and consistent steps. No, we are not personal trainers, but we are just taking the leadership of the, um, trainers. Okay. So we're taking, you know, the one I did in sanity, Sean T or 80 day obsession with autumn Calabrese. They are the experts and they have written the program. They have written the calendar. They have written the nutrition plan. They have it all together. And then all we're doing is helping people be able to follow those steps. And when they have that accountability in the challenge groups, that's when they will see the results. And so guess what happens when they're getting those results? It helps you be able to collect those stories. And that's key for you as a coach to be able to share to others um, and build your own brand, you know, and build the recognition that, look, these people have done this and I will help you do the exact same. So it's pretty cool, but go ahead and flip. Um, and it ends up, look at, I'm prime example right here. It ends up helping build your team because guess what happens? They love the products. They love their results. They want to share or they're already sharing to everybody else. And so 
what do you do? You do like Deidre did to me. And she was just like, Hey girl, like, why aren't you sharing your story? Like, why aren't you a coach? You're doing everything I'm doing. It's just that Deidre was the one getting the money and not me as well. Um, and so they want to, it's not even work for them. That's, it just moves, it just moves forward. That's just the natural way it moves. Um, I know at first, when I first signed up, I was like, but how can I be a challenge group runner? Like, you know, I, I thought Deidre was so good at running hers. and like, how am I going to be able to do this? Literally in the back office, it, when you become a coach, you can just copy and paste if you need to. They have everything for every program for every day of your challenge. Um, but you'll start finding as you do it more and more that you just share like what recipe you made that day or what you did that day or what you didn't do that. Day. You know, it's just, it starts to become so natural. You don't even really think about it, but you always have those backup resources if you need it. So it's not like, again, the experts have done it for us and then we are just relaying the message. So we don't have to worry about it. Um, but really accountability is the glue that ties that commitment to the results. So why challenge groups is because they can go and buy the programs, they can get their beach body on demand or have their Shakeology. And how many times have you heard, or at least I have heard of customers who have bought Shakeology and it started stockpiling in the cupboard. Why? Because they didn't even, they didn't have that accountability. So they forget to drink it and it just, they don't even do anything with it. But when they have that accountability, they have that daily check-in, that's where they're going to get the commitment and then that's where they're going to get their results. So I think, oh it's still me. Anyway, so how do you become a successful coach? And this is where I kind of shared a little bit with my, you know, in my story of like who I am, but it's by being real and sharing your story. Um, your story is your most powerful and valuable tool. Um, and you can see like, and really quick. Okay. So Deja and I both kind of have similar befores and afters. We both lost similar amount of weight and whatever, but that does not matter. There are people who come into Beachbody trying to gain weight. There are people who come into Beachbody a lot heavier and they're maybe they're not yet at their goal. It doesn't matter. But for, for me, how do I become a successful coach is sharing who you see down in the corner of the screen, how Deidre does it, the other corner of the screen. Like that's our story and it's going to resonate with the people we're speaking to. So go ahead and switch that slide. Um, because nobody knows your life better than you do. And just by simply sharing your story and showing just you, like the raw, the real, the ugly, the good, just who you are, that's what unleashes the power that you hold. And you become relatable to the tribe you're trying to reach. And this is where um, my first challenge group back with those older gentlemen, we weren't relatable. We didn't have the same passions, nothing. Like at that time I was like 25, nothing related, but you know what? I got through it and they were great. They were really awesome. But now guess who I found? Guess who attracted me just by going online on the internet was Deidre. Why? Because she was my age. She was a mom, which at the time I wasn't a mom, but I was fixing to get married. Like we, it would just, it just clicked. So when you're just you and just share your story, don't try to be, I don't try to be Deidre, Deidre doesn't try to be anybody else. Like just be you and you're going to attract, for me, I have been noticing that I am attracting a ton of toddler moms. Why? Because I have a three-year-old. And so they're just like, they get me. They understand trying to work out with a toddler and doing push-ups with a toddler on your back. You know what I mean? Like they get it that sometimes you do have to hit pause and go run as they're learning, they're getting potty trained. Like it's just, it's life. So they relate to me and they'll relate to you. Um, and they get really excited about your story. Um, at first I was kind of like super scared to share my transformations on social media. Like, you know, I mean, people knew me back then when I was that big, but it was embarrassing to like kind of look back on it, you know? And, but at the same time, I'm not trying to, what you need to help people see as a coach is the, the results. You're not trying to sell beach body. You're not trying to sell Shakeology. You're not trying to just get clients to get commissions. That's not what it's about. You're offering a solution. And the solution is weight loss or whatever it is for them, weight gain or whatever, but it's the solution is what you are offering. And so they're going to want what you have. And so they'll be like, what did you do to get that? So just by being authentic and sharing your ups and your downs and your oops, I had ice cream today and I probably should have had psychology. You can just being honest or being like, you know what? I've gained some weight and now I'm going to lose it. Or I, uh, you know, whatever it is, I fell off my eating plan over the holidays and now um, you know, I'm going to get back in shape again, get back on track, whatever it is. 
if you're struggling with it, there's a lot of other people struggling with it. So just being you and just being authentic and sharing who you are, you're going to literally have people, which I have, I have a list right now that I need to, after we're done here, follow up with moms never met ever before being like, can you tell me what you're doing? Because I want more info. And I'm just like, I didn't even say anything. All I did was I'm sharing my story and that's what they're after. So go ahead and flip it. Here's another thing. As Deidre said, she was only halfway through her journey. When I started mine, I was more towards my goal, but then over the summer, I gained a little bit of weight. You know, that just happens. And so I've been honest with my, um, just on my social media and on my Instagram, I've been like, hey guys, a little bit of summer fluff, but I know how to get it off. It's been um, just where you are right now and what you're going to do about it. So a lot of, being a product of the product. So a lot of people um, feel like they either have to be at their perfect weight or they get embarrassed when they go the opposite direction a little bit. Guess what? Again, we're all human. It happens to the best of us. But just being honest and being like, you know what? Not to worry. I know exactly what to do. I've done it before. And here we go again. Be a product of the product. Don't try to you know, triple workouts, don't try to, you know, do these drastic diets behind, you know, closed doors so that you can hurry and lose weight. No, eat balanced, eat right. Like they, you know, have, we're having our clients do and do the program, trust the process. So you don't have to be at your perfect weight. You could be showing your journey. And again, you're relatable because often you're not relatable when you're just perfect in shape and they just think, oh, well, you're just perfect. And I have a long ways to go. Um, last thing I want to talk about, believe in yourself, believe in your products, believe in the process and believe in the results. If you doubt any of those, that's going to come across. That vibe is going to come across to those on your social media. Those you're talking to, if you're like, yeah, but the, you know, I do the workouts, but I also add in, you know, and I'm not saying it's not, you know, if you, I love mountain biking. My husband and I are very avid mountain bikers in the summer, snowboarders in the winter. You know, those are both physical exercises. So I'm not saying don't, or runners or whatever. I'm not saying don't do those. If that's something you truly love, go for it. But if it's something you're doing to add, to hurry your results as a punishment, um, you don't believe in the products you don't believe in the process that we're trying to tell to the others to follow. So be a product of the products, believe in it, believe in yourself and believe in the results. So that's how you do it. <laughs> I love it. Can I add something? Because I love yeah. what you just said. So Shay just talked about like that we're human. We are coaches. We are not perfect all the time. And we do mess up. Shay did this power, this slide right here. And she put me on there. That was post Thanksgiving because in my other picture, I had abs <laughs> and this, I slightly fell off track, but like, that's the thing is I'm real. And I share that I will still show my belly, yeah. even if I have some extra fluff and I talk about how I struggle, but it, that's real and relatable. I just wanted to say that because yeah. people will appreciate you when you share that you struggle too, because they're going to be like, okay, I know that you're not going to get mad at me if I mess up because you do it too. And that's why they want to join you because you do show the good, bad and the ugly sometimes. Right. Yeah. It's so true. Yep. All right. So now I'm going to talk about how you earn, because I know there are people that are like, well, I mean, if I'm going to make this a uh, an income, like how even do I make money off of this? Um, so first I'm going to say that you are going to make 25% commission from your customers that order from your site. When you sign up as a coach, Beachbody gives you a website where when someone is ready to sign up and they're like, Hey, I want to do what you're doing. You're going to go and you have a site and you can set up a link for them on your site, which we would talk about when you join. Um, and you would get them set up so they are under you and then you earn 25 25% commission off of the products. Now, if they're joining with a challenge pack, which is how I set up most people, how Shay set up, sets up most people, because it gives you everything that you need to reach your fitness goals. You get a fitness program or Beach Body on Demand, which um, just to go over that real quick, we no longer do DVDs for our newer um, products. Everything is streamed through your TV, phone, or computer. 
um, by the Beachbody On Demand app. It's amazing. There's so many tools to it. You can access the workouts and you can access our TV show called Fixate. Um, and then you have access to meal, customized meal plans and a lot more recipes and tips and such. Um, so you could do um, Beachbody On Demand or um, and then also with a challenge pack, you get your fitness program or beach money on demand. That's where I was going. You get your nutrition, which is either Shakeology or the performance line. And then that also gives you access to our challenge group. So you will get a set commission, uh, set commission, depending on what that challenge pack is. Um, and then you earn cycle bonuses from your team volume. I don't want to go too much in depth with this because it can get confusing. You will hear it a lot when you sign up as a coach. And then it's more of like, for me, it was visual that I needed to see it, that you understand how the cycle bonuses work. But basically you have a right leg and a left leg where people sign, you sign up your coaches on one leg or another. And when you sign up your first two coaches, one on each side, you start, you start earning cycle bonuses because you rank advanced to Emerald. Um, and your cycle bonuses will start at $14 a cycle you get your volume by people getting Shakeology or your products um, or other products. So everything has a volume to it when they use it or their customers use it. So you will get that volume. Look, I'm like doing a little dance. You get that volume from each leg and then you get a cycle bonuses as you advance in your team um, or in rank your cycle bonuses increase from 14 to 16 to $18. I will tell you, it does not seem like a significant difference, but it is a huge difference. Um, a lot of people do not move up in rank because they don't want to work their business. And then because they had customers and the customers ended up signing up as a coach or they keep buying product, they have a lot of volume. But if you don't move up in your rank, you don't get that extra volume. You can end up maxing out on your volume. Okay. So if people want to say, is this a pyramid scheme? No, because you're not going to directly make money from the people that are below you. They can actually out um, earn you if you're not building your own business yourself. Um, so the cycle bonuses is your long-term income and that's, that's going to help you realize that you don't have to con, I mean, you want to constantly help people. But for me, if I need to take off for a week because I'm going on vacation or I have a sick family member or whatever it is, I'm still going to get paid because I build a team rather than constantly having to sell something in order to earn money. Um, and as you build your team and your coaches build, you will earn a percentage of their income from their cycle bonuses um, once you hit diamond rank. And that is adding four coaches on each leg and then helping one of those on each side go emerald. And that, again, you'll hear that a lot. And then as you build your rank and your coaches advance to diamond, um, so you there's like star diamond, which means you help someone go diamond on your team. Two star is you help two people on your team advance to diamond and so on. So there's two star, five star, 10 star, and 15 star is the highest rank you can get in Beachbody. You earn quarterly bonuses and they start at $800 um, a quarter, which is every three months. And they can go up to $50,000, yes, every three months in addition to what you're already making. Holy crap, it's almost like that never happens. But guess what? It does happen. <laughs> so that's pretty cool that this opportunity can replace your full-time income at a job that you went to school for for a lot of years. So like for me, I've replaced my nursing career where I had my bachelor's degree and I am triple, I think triple what my full-time income was as a nurse. So there's to say there is possibility in this business opportunity. Um, but I wanted to say building a team will help your stability and long-term income. So again, you don't have to feel like you're always selling in order to have an income. And now the investment to start off and build your fitness business, um, because people are like, well, how do I get started? What do I need to pay? Let me tell you, think about what people usually pay when they're starting a business. They have to pay for a building, they have to pay for inventory, they have to pay employees, they have to pay for, you know, furnishing, furnishing the 
um, building that you're using and paying for all of that and just getting it set up. Um, you don't have to do any of that with this business. This is a business that you have at your home that you can potentially build a six or seven figure income and the setup is, is cheap. I'm going to say it's cheap because you, we should have to pay a lot more than what we actually do. Um, we're simply paying for a challenge pack to get started. Like I said, it gives you everything you need to reach your own fitness goals because we want to be a product of the product and be on our own journey as well. Those challenge packs started $140. That's like a workout outfit and a pair of shoes. And that could potentially help you build a business. And in the meantime, your investment is paying for 30 meals every month. Like that is crazy. And a year's worth of workout programs if you want to get beat body on demand. That is amazing. Um, so if you get a challenge pack to sign up, your $40 sign up fee is waived. If you don't get a challenge pack and you only get Shakeology or performance to start or just a workout program, you have a $40 sign up fee. But I will say you need to get the challenge pack because you need to have experience with the workout programs and the Shakeology or performance line or both. I use both. Um, and then in addition, you do have a monthly fee, a business fee, and that takes care of your back office, your inventory, your sales, your orders, customers, everything like Beachbody has simplified this for us so much that we don't have to put like a lot of work into thinking about what we're doing here. All we need to do is share our story and get people to join us and figure out, you know, are they going to be a customer or a coach? Um, but with your, um, you will get 25% off of everything else. So like for our Shakeology, we get 25% off of our Shakeology. So for the people who sign up as a coach like us, instead of paying $130 a month as a customer would, we're only paying 115 and that includes that $16 monthly business fee. So we're saving 15 more dollars as a coach than a normal customer would. So um, and in addition to that, if you're military, veteran, active duty, or a spouse, you get your sign up fee waived at $40 and you don't have to pay that $16 monthly fee. So for a coach, military, active spouses, they only pay $98 for their Shakeology a month. So they don't even have that monthly fee, which is really, really cool. Everyone that is military for me, I sign them up as a coach because they save the most money. So that is that. And Shay, you're going to talk about what people Okay. This was a big one for me. And so it was kind of cool that I can, I get to talk about it. Um, fear of what other people will think. Um, for me, my spouse, my husband, Ty was very supportive, but there are spouses who aren't, you know, they either because you have failed in the past or you, you know, they're worried about you, you know, you were a nurse as Deidre was or something like, what are you doing this? So then, you know, that comes up or for me, this was what a big one was for me. And it, it still is, but I've learned to be just like, who cares is what will your family think? Like my husband was very supportive, but a lot of my family was just like, what the heck are you doing? Like it's a pyramid scheme. It's, you know, the whole nine yards. Okay. I hear it all the time. And so that's what has held me back for so long was just being afraid of what my family thought about me and what they would think about me um, if I became a coach. And then it really wasn't until again, the summer or you know, early summer, late spring of this year that it was like, you know what? Like literally, uh, this was something my husband told me. He said, you know what? He said the, you know, what your family's thinking about is not paying our bills. And I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like, you know, it, it who cares what they think? You know, who cares what your friends think? It's your life. So it really doesn't matter. And if you're unhappy or you want something else for me, I stay at home full time with our little daughter. I used to be, I don't think I mentioned this earlier. I used to be a pastry chef full time. Once I had our daughter, I stayed home full time. I love it. I love being a mom, but I just wanted something more. Um, I wanted friendships and I also wanted some money that was mine. Like, you know, my husband works full time, but I just, I didn't even have the money to go like paint my nails and cut my hair. And I just wanted some of my money, you know, and he would have given it to me. It's not that it's just, I wanted to be able to earn a little bit. And so that's when I first was thinking about the business, I was just like, heck, just like, just like a little bit, a couple hundred each month is fine. And now I'm like, okay, no, I'm in this for the full big big deal. But anyways, um, but we worry about what people are thinking. And I love Rachel Hollis, which you may have heard her name. She's kind of been, um, 
the name going around this year. But anyway, she says, someone else's opinion of you is none of your business. You're afraid to move forward and that fear will keep you small. Something worded wrong there. But anyways, you keep your second guessing yourself, which will keep you from living exactly who your creator made you to be. And you know what? Don't let the opinions of others keep you held back from who you want to be. I have loved fitness and everything about the health industry since I was like 12 years old. And back then I shouldn't have been thinking about it, but I did because I was a chubby little girl. And so I was just like obsessed with it back then. But I always just kind of thought, no, I can't do that. You know, I, I didn't have the training for that. And then I went into, you know, a different field. I went into pastry chefs to make people. <laughs> yeah, that's anyways, but <laughs> I had to make people eat sugar, but no, but I just, I always loved fitness and my family has kind of made fun of me about that. Like we'll be on family vacation and I'll go in the bedroom and do my workouts. That's just me. I work out every day. That's just who I am. And it makes me feel the best. Um, and so I got over the fact of what they thought about me doing that. So why can't I get over the fact about them thinking what I do with my business? And so it really was freeing. It has been freeing for me. Um, and it might be for you. And like I said, it's not always family. It could be your best friend or it could be your spouse or it could be your grandma. It, who knows? But don't worry. It's your life. And what are you going to do with it? So go ahead and flip that screen. Um, we, you know, you never achieved anything by not taking action. Uh, you can dream all day long, but unless you actually take the action behind those dreams, they're just going to be wishes. They're not even dreams. And so sometimes it's super scary to put yourself out on social media. Um, you don't want to be open. People hate being vulnerable. We like to just literally social media is for the majority. It's your perfect life. I mean, that's how people run their social media is it's the perfect pictures. It's the perfect poses. It's the perfect selfies, um, with the perfect lighting and perfect angles, like everything. Um, and so when, but when you had these things that changed your life, so when you are like worried about what are people going to think, they're probably going to appreciate you being honest. Um, they're not going to be worried about, Oh, like, look, she, you know, as Deidre said, she didn't quite have abs in the Thanksgiving picture. They probably didn't see that. They probably saw when they looked at her photo and she knows this, but, um, wow, she looks great for being post Thanksgiving. You know, I wish I looked like that. I wish I could find that. Um, so don't fear, just do what you love, do what you're passionate about and quit worrying about what people will think. Um, here's the deal is more often than not, the people who are actually kind of jabbing you or making fun of you, they're jealous. They want what you have. And so either they're going to stay quiet or if they're going to make a comment either to your face or on your social media, don't worry about it. You're not after the few critics, you're after the majority who wants help, who is desperate for help, who would just love for someone to take them under their wing. How many, for me, my tribe is moms, um, you know, young moms. How many moms are lonely? They want a little bit of income because maybe they're stay at home moms like me. They want help on their, you know, postpartum journey. So who cares about the couple critics? It doesn't matter. Um, so don't allow the opinion of others to hold you back from your dreams. Um, another fear that I just want to quickly talk about, and I didn't even write it in here, but was just like the fear of time. Like, oh my gosh, I do have a toddler. Now I only have one and some people have more than that. Like Deidre's already got several herself, but I only have one. And yet I still found myself like, how am I going to have time? Like, it seems like I, I, my schedule seemed full already, but it really, two things. Number one, you can do it part-time. You can do it just enough to pay for your Shakeology every month. Or you can make it into a full-time business. And like I said, when I started in June, I thought, mm, you know, 100 or 200 extra bucks a month is going to be awesome. And then it was like, why am I like short sheeting myself like this? Like I found I had the time by just, um, what's the word I'm looking for? By utilizing my time um, and not like literally to make a full-time business. You're talking like it solid, concentrated, not scrolling Facebook, like actually working Facebook or, you know, working your business an hour and 45, two hours a day. Um, if you have more time than that, awesome. 
and I utilize it when I do have more time. But if I don't have more time than two hours a day, I don't feel bad. And I don't mean that I sit down at eight o'clock in the morning and I'm done by 10 o'clock in the morning. No, for me, it's 15 minutes here and then I've got to run to town and get groceries and then I come back and it's 30 minutes and then I feed my daughter lunch and then while she's napping, I have an hour. You know, it's just those little pockets of time all through the day that compile into making the time that I need. And the awesome thing that has been super game changer for me is Beachbody has so many resources, you guys, and they have an activity tracker. So literally every day I open it up and it's digital for me. So I open it up on my computer. I take my phone. I set the timer five minutes and I start that what I'm supposed to be doing, that assignment for right then, five minutes. As soon as that timer goes off, I reset my timer 15 minutes and I go to the next thing. And when I utilize my time, and so every minute of that hour and 45 to two hours every day is focused 100% on my business, I have the time. So it's, you know, time might seem like an issue, but really you probably have more time than you realize by utilizing those pockets. Um, I know we're all super busy and we all lead crazy lives, but we do have 10 minutes here, 15 minutes here while we're waiting for dinner to cook or whatever. Just, you can do it on your phone. You can do it on the computer and just write it down. And then at the end of the day, it tallies up to how much time you need. So that was another fear I wanted to touch on really fast, but. All right. Very cool. Thank you. All right. So let me, you know what? Oh, there we are. So real quick, I wanted to talk about the types of coaches because, you know, Shay touched on it a little bit, but there are different types of coaches. You don't have to, you know, be like us where this is our full-time job. Again, I started as a full-time nurse taking master's classes with a one-year-old and a newborn. Like I was really busy and I didn't have a lot of time. So, um, you know, it depends on what time commitment you want to give is what kind of coach you will become. So the first one is a discount coach. And Shay did talk about a discount coach. That's simply someone who signs up. You sign up all the same as a coach, no matter what type of coach you want to be, you're still signing up as a coach. But a discount coach is someone who they're not going to promote the business. They're not going to share their journey. They want to keep it quiet. They just want a discount on the products and they're going to get their 25% off. A hobby coach is someone who wants to pay for their Shakeology and help a few people here and there. They're going to talk to their friends, family. Maybe they'll post a couple times on social media about their workouts and what they're doing, or they may not. They may just talk to their friends and family, but they want to help, you know, three people a month will help pay for their Shakeology for the month. Um, so that is a hobby coach. Um, they may work for 15 minutes a day. They may work for 30 minutes another day. They may, you know, it's... Our time that we invest is up to us. There's no set time that you have to work on your business. Um, and then a part-time income is someone who wants to replace part of their income, who wants to pay off some debt, who wants to pay for vacations, holidays, groceries, car payment. For me, it was also paying for kids' birthday parties. And I'm not big into the whole spending a lot of money on birthday parties, but I used to be crazy. And <laughs> for daycare, um, so, you know, part-time income, that is someone who wants to help at least three people a month and, um, you know, in 30 minutes to an hour a day is, a, is probably what you want to spend if you're wanting to build a part-time income. Um, full-time income is what we are. We want to replace a full-time income with our career. Um, we want to bring home a spouse from their job. We want to build a retirement or, and, or, um, get out of debt completely. So that is like, you're ready to one to two hours a day, build a business, do the trainings, work with your team, build a team of your own by talking about the opportunity to other people. Um, so those are the type of coaches that, that we have. We will never put our goals on you. Whatever type of coach you want to be is what you tell us. And we're going to help you with that particular goal so we can help you feel successful. Um, and we would never be upset if you're like, I want to start full time. And then a month later, you're like, maybe I don't have the, you know, passion for what I thought I did. And maybe I don't want to do this full time and that's okay. If you want to be just a discount to pay for your products, cause you love the products that is completely fine too. But we want to show you what opportunities are available to you and the potential that you could have with this. 
So I just want to finish off guys. We're a part of the number one team in the company for four years in a row. That doesn't happen often. Um, again, my upline coach and Shay, one of her upline coaches above me is cause our, we have umbrella teams is the top coach. She is my cousin who got me started and she is the only coach who has been the top coach for over two years. So it's a pretty cool thing of, you know, what resources we have for us to be successful. Um, so there are people who have a coach and they don't even know who their coach is or they stopped working the business and they don't, they don't do any training. You are going to be blessed to be a part of this team. I'm not bragging, but I'm kind of bragging. We have a really awesome team guys. <laughs> so um, we have trainings to help you start your business with like a new coach training, we call it. Um, we have training to help you advance your business, to lead a team of your own. And we have tons of team pages to help you get the support as you grow in your business. And, and like Shay said, like she wanted to make friends and I also wanted to make friends. And we have retreats every year. We have trainings where we all get together. We have a summit, which is the biggest training of the year. We all come together. Um, Indianapolis is where last year's and this year's will be. And, um, we have our diamond retreats where once you're a diamond coach, you have the ability to earn this trip. Um, last year and the year before was in Orlando. That was one of actually one of the pictures, the top left where we're in black. That was from two years ago in Orlando. And then this one on the lower right is from Orlando actually was that last year, two years ago too, because I was pregnant in that one. I need an update, man. Um, but anyways, we were in Orlando both years. Um, we've been in Destin and I'm not sure what we're going to plan this year, but we're going to plan something. It'll be fun. But um, we have different ways to come together as a team because we're from all, like I said, we're from all over the US, Canada and UK, which launched in the UK last year. Um, and I was one of the five that got to go to the UK to help launch Beachbody, which was really, really cool. Um, but we come together, even though I've never met Shay yet, I, I told her I'm going to give her a big squeeze when I see her because it's just, it's just so cool. Like that you can become friends with people that you never thought. And this opportunity will bring people together. And it's just, it's incredible incredible. And we hope that you decide to take this leap with us because it was a leap that we both took. Um, we both had, um, we were both skeptical at one time. We weren't sure what we were getting ourselves into. We didn't know what was possible. And here we are now sharing the opportunity as successful coaches. And we're just excited to help um, you guys do the same and to join our team. So if you are ready to link arms with us and join us on this journey, just talk to whoever brought you here, um, whoever gave you this video, and we will be excited to have you join our team. So I think we are good. I'm going to stop sharing, and I hope that you guys have a great day. See ya. Yeah.